Hi, I'm Shannon from HouseImprovements.com and today I just want to give a bit of an example of uh, nails versus screws. Uh, you've probably watched some of my other videos and you've seen me recommend nails for structural type framing that sort of thing as opposed to screws and the odd few of you have some uh, questions on that as far as in the comments and that so I just want to kind of clarify it a little bit at least uh, so you can see my perspective on it. So I'm gonna throw on some safety glasses Basically, basically the idea is you've got a nail or a screw and most people will say, well, I mean, I'd rather put in a bunch of screws than pound a bunch of nails. Uh, that's, all, that's all good. Screws hold well. They, you know, the threads draw in. They, they usually hold better than a nail. Um, but part of the problem is that most normal screws actually will snap off. Their sheer strength isn't as good as a nail especially when we're talking, you know, like a framing nail, sort of a little heavier nail like this. Um, so that's, that's where my point comes across that you're better off to use nails in framing, like a structural wall or a support wall or a beam, that sort of thing, than a bunch of screws. Uh, the exception to that might be whether if you're using like a, a construction adhesive as well. So if you were sistering some joists onto some really crooked joists to get things straightened out again, and you wanted to screw them on and use some adhesive as well, I don't have a problem with that. If you just wanted to use screws, uh, a joist might be a bad example for that, but in most cases screws could shift if the, move, if the building moved or anything and snap off way sooner than a, than a nail. So I just want to demonstrate kind of what I'm, what I'm talking about here. And it's going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to drive a nail into this 2x4. So it's sticking out a little bit like that. We'll put a screw over on this end. Something like that. So now, if I take this locking pliers, let's see, when I move this nail back and forth, you can see it's, it is, it's it's distorting all, all out of the whack. But how many times do I actually have to do it until it breaks off? I didn't count now. That was maybe five times, six times. I'm not even sure. Okay, so it broke off. If I do the same thing with this screw, okay, so we've got it. It's not very likely that it's going to distort like this one did, but it's probably going to break off maybe not the first time, but probably the second time. So if I move it over once, back again, you can see how that just broke right off. Now, some of you might say, oh, you were putting more effort into that or whatever. Let's just try it again. Okay, so one, two, and it just broke off. Okay, so you can see the, the shear strength isn't as good. Now, there are other screws out there, structural screws, they're generally called. Uh, they're usually a little heavier, they've got different heads, that sort of thing. So, you know, those are an excep exception as well. But the idea is, if this, uh, you know, if, if that was screws coming up into, uh, into the studs of your wall, let's say, for instance, and during an earthquake or some kind of shift in the, in the building or some pressure put against it, I'd rather have the nails that maybe they're going to distort a little bit, but they aren't going to actually snap off as quickly. The screws are likely going to break right off without a lot of effort as we just seen. And again, I can do that with the, with the nail here again. So it's, you know, it's bending all over. It's four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, this one isn't even going to break off as early as the other there, you know, eight, nine times, something like that. Okay, so I hope this kind of shows you why it's recommended to use, use nails over screws in, in cases like that. And uh, maybe it'll stop some of the comments. At least I have some place to send them now to show, show them what I'm talking about. So anyways, I, I hope that maybe cleared up some of that a little bit and uh, I'll start sending people to watch this video now instead of explaining it over and over on my comments or on the forum. If you do have other questions, uh, go to the forum at house-improvements.com.
post, post your question up on the forum and I'll be sure to get at uh, answering you as soon as I can, which is usually pretty quickly. Um, and also you can follow us on Facebook or Twitter. So check us out there and uh, give us a follow. Thanks for watching.